Derek Jezora gets the win over Joe Joyce in a fight that I didn't even know was taking place, man. I've been so out of tune with certain things with boxing lately. But, man, when I seen the weigh-in and all of that stuff, when I seen the um, face-off, I was like, oh, shit, they're about to fight. Tuned in to that fight, man. Boy, was I highly, highly satisfied with that fight. Man, listen, man, look, let me tell you something. We, as much as we love the sweet science, and I'm sure we all do. You know I've said this many times. I love the sweet science. But listen, man, sometimes you just like to see all out action. And these two, you know, Derek Chisora, man, this dude, let me tell you about Derek Chisora. I, he's one of my favorite heavyweight fighters, man. Um, Always come to fight, man, for, for the most part. Uh, Always game. You know, he never ducked no smoke. You know, he's in it to win it for the most part. And... You know, I could, I could have, if I would have known they was fighting, I would have made a prediction video. I probably would have said that Joe, that uh, Joe Joyce was gonna get outboxed, because Derek Jezora, man, he's a, he's a, um, he has a great chin, very good head movement, and that's where, that's the issue with Joe Joyce. He has no defense, dude. Punches like a slow motion movie, like a slow motion video. I mean, god damn, man, if you could punch any slower, man. It's almost like this man is like stuck in between dimensions or something, man. He, I mean, he got, he got, he could punch though, but he just got, he just, can't, he's slow, bro. Jazora ain't the fastest, but this, uh, Derek Jazora has much more speed than, than, than uh, Joe Joyce. He has more head movement, and that is what led Joe Joyce to get dropped later on in the fight because he don't move his head. He don't keep his hands up. Uh, but Joy, but Joe Joyce definitely got a chin, you know. Um, Derek Chisora was hurt a few times, and he still kept, you know, kept his footwork, got him out of some trouble. His head movement got him out of some trouble. Uh, him being a vet in the game got him out of trouble. I mean, I mean, how how good how how good could you get, bro? I mean, this is what you wanted in a fighter. You got it in Derek Chisora. And he deserved that win tonight. And I'm glad he got it. You know, shout out to Derek Tejora. Always come to fight. You know, he reminds me of that Burt Cooper dude. They, he always, like, he reminds me of him for some reason. Like, you know, the style and shit, like, the, the way he fight. But the grittiness, you know, the toughness of Derek Tejora. You know, he's going to come. He's a, he's a, he's a, I, I would call him like a, a, a brawler type fighter. A swarmer, brawler. One of them type of fighters, and he came to bring the he came to bring it to Joe Joyce, and he's hitting Joe Joyce with some good shots, man. Good overhand rights. Uh, it's just that you know the power. You know he's not really a big, 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 big puncher like that, but uh, man, dude, he he really impressed me, man. If if you like action, that is what a fight is supposed to look like, man. Uh, I know a lot of times you know we criticize certain fighters for for putting on boxing clinics and stuff, you know, but that's them and that's their style, man. We can't expect everybody to be like, like Joe Joyce and Derek Chisora. So what people need to start doing is appreciating, um, certain fighters for their style and don't knock them for it all the time. You can be a little critical because, you know, we, we, um, we are fans, you know, we watch these dudes, we support them, but then at the same time, you know, you know, fighters like Derek Chisora type style fighters or Tyson Fury, not Tyson Fury, like Joe Joyce. Appreciate that from them because that's where you're going to get it from. You're not going to get it from the Shakurs. Not going to get that from the Devons like that. So, you know, why not appreciate each one for what they do, you know? And um, they all uh, have their own little thing going on. You know, that's what made boxing so beautiful. The different dimension when styles and mesh, you know, you got one dude as a brawler, one dude's a boxer, peel boxer, got a boxer puncher, we got a a a, a, a brawler, a, a swarmer, you know, like, don't you know it's it's amazing. That's just why I love boxing. You know, but shout out to Derek Jazora. Um interesting to see where he goes next from here. 
you know, this this year in boxing has been for heavyweights at least. Um, Derek Chisora and um, Joe Joseph Parker is almost like some new awakenings with them, you know, and uh, it's a beautiful thing to see. And heavyweights have done this before, man. I'm gonna keep on iterating, re, uh, reiterating this thing with George Foreman. He's one of my he's one of my favorite heavy well, heavyweight legends of all time. You come, they they tend to come back and and make history and shit, or or come back from losses, or come back from the mud and pull themselves up and come back out of retirement or for long layoffs and and always get busy, man. This is why I love the heavyweight division. This is what they do, you know. So, shout out to Joe Joyce for being a warrior that he is. Um, what's next for him should be interesting to see as well. So, much love to them, man, for giving us a great show tonight. But anyway, this your boy Rebel Life Boxing. Let me know what you think. Catch you on the next one, man. And I'm off this. <laughs>